hello youtube i hope everybody is doing great today i want to show you my mini cane gauge that i built for a customer in canada tom thank you for your order so he ordered actually two and uh, i want to go over the features and how it looks like a little bit first off i designed a new enclosure for it uh, before I had a front and a back and then just a frame uh, around it and it was screwed from the front and the back and um, now I figured I make the back side as one piece and I did it in Tinkercad that's what I use I'll show you real quick there you go and uh, it took uh, quite a few tries to get it right the way I wanted and uh, those actually I don't throw them away I just glue them together and use them as small containers so no need to throw it away and the reason why it took so many times is I wanted to get that carbon fiber to fit inside this lip and uh, as you can see it does so now it has a really nice clean edge around it so that was the hardware that's the other hardware that goes in there with the cable obviously so I will put that together and I wanted to talk about the OBD connector that I have which the gauge does plug in and this is obviously not a USB connector I mean it's not meant to go into your PC it's meant to go inside of here and the red wire here is for the 12 volt as you might know OBD connector in the car has constant 12 volt I don't know which smart engineer decided to do that because why would you test a car without power so to get power you normally turn on your ignition if you turn off your ignition everything should be off there should be no power on the obd connector i don't know why there is so it's constant 12 volt and um, this red wire is obviously 12 volt and if you want to have it switched you can cut this on you can cut this and put a switch in between that's what i did for another customer recently he had obviously a longer wire and uh, or you cut it and then use switched 12 volt to connect to this that goes to the gauge and then you don't have to turn it on and off it just turns off with your ignition so that's the explanation for this red loop wire and I use silicon wire uh, might not mean much to you but it means a lot to me to use high quality wire it's silicone wire so that was that and uh, I'll put this here here I have my CAN bus simulator that I try that I use to test the gauge obviously I built this and uh, I showed it in one of my videos a while ago so it has 5 volt input and this is the the other one of the connectors and all you do is plug it in here maybe this way yep maybe I should switch this to type C so you don't have to have it correct way around well on some gauges I have a USB type C connector on the back and still have the USB here well anyway so just rip the wire out here and let's turn this on here and then you're greeted with a nice animation and my name of course oops sorry and uh, some of the codes are automatically going up and down some of them are controlled by the potentiometers here you have you might not know but you have two touch sensors on the side 
And when you touch the sensor, there's a very small indicator that you did touch the sensor. Did you see it? So this is actually the first screen that has speed and RPM, which I can adjust independently here. And you have a shift light and a speed warning light in this case. And here you can adjust your RPM. The next screen is a speed only. And you can choose between three speed limit warnings. I have it personally at 50, city 90 uh, for country roads and 120 for uh, highways. That's the speed limit here. In Germany you don't have, on most highways, you don't, autobahn, you don't have any speed limits. So that's that. And as you see, this is kilometer per hour and you can switch this to miles per hour by long, by touching and long holding it and then it switches to miles per hour. Okay, so I will put this in between the video because I forgot about another feature that I was going to show and tell. It has Bluetooth capability. So, for that, you can open an app, for example, where is it, Siri Bluetooth app. And you can see my reflection again, again, without shirt. And open terminal, devices, I named them Kengage 1 and 2. The one that's actively sending is highlighted green. Click on that. And then it says connecting. Timeout. Try again. Let me see if I have to do it the other way around. Turn this off, on. Nope. There you go. I did have the wrong one. So it says canvas in it okay, and then it starts at RPM. That's oops, just over here. That's what you see. You switch kilometers, it does switch kilometers, and it of course updates. And there is another app that I showed in one of my videos. I will put the link in the description. With that, you can have it on your Android smartwatch, for example, or Android phone, I think, as well. And you can um, well, you can go within the screens left and right. And it's like a small app that I built. And it shows the data and then you can control it where it goes. So that's the Bluetooth feature. And I will put this inside of the video so keep watching so you can switch between metric and imperial by long pressing on any of the touch buttons and then it switches between kilometers per hour and miles per hour and rpm universal and it also switches between the temperatures in um kelvin not kelvin <laughs> celsius between celsius and fahrenheit so if you hold and touch it for long it switches to fahrenheit and then this is simulation just from low to high on my uh, simulator all temperature as well most cars do not have the oil temperature sensor installed just the oil pressure sensor that then turns on your red light 
on your instrument panel and if you touch it long again it switches to celsius not kelvin celsius so the oil temperature intake air temperature changes as well your ambient air temperature throttle position goes between 0 and 100 you have your battery voltmeter and here on the bottom you see the dots and how many screens you have fuel economy economy this also switches between liters per 100 kilometers and miles per gallon smart isn't it so let me switch back and next one is boost gauge that's here on this potentiometer you have air fuel ratio which when you start your car it's going to be 14 to 0 and then it goes to 14 to 7 i think i remember the oxygen sensor gear indicator this is calculated with uh, speed rpm uh, tire size and gear ratios for each gear and the final drive ratio that calculates your gear and then you have catalytic converter temperature and here you have a timer this is actually my favorite screen although I have to build one of those for myself my bigger can gauge does not have the timer or does it have the timer I, I have to lie oh it does have a time it has the quarter mile timer um, 0 to 100 kilometers per timer so and it's very easy to use when you stop when you're not driving it says floor it and then you give gas uh, simulator down here and then you get faster 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 and when you hit 100 miles per hour it shows you the time it took and your finish flag and then all you have to do is slow down again come to a stop and you can do it again pretty easy this one switches also to 0 to 60 miles same thing you floor it it's timing you hit the 60 and there is your time and then you stop the car go again next screen is quarter mile so and you have you have the lights here you start on the green not on the yellow then it's too early it doesn't count so you start on up oh, i was too late i missed it actually so it did not stop well actually huh why because it was right <laughs> uh, it's been a while since i used this gauge and the code so you're stopped you start on the green green you start and then you have of course to run the it's like i think 1600 feet is it or 1200 feet and then it shows you the time and then you stop again it starts over so next is fuel tank this in my car doesn't show right i don't know why it should be zero to uh, 100 percent this is the off screen and then you come again to the first screen obviously you can also go well maybe you got that you can go forward and backwards with the screens or you can if you hold it in between a short long press it goes in auto cycle and shows each screen and then switches to the next auto cycle and then when you touch it again it goes to the next screen and then it stops and then you can have it manually back and forth so this is it it's not too complicated to use it gives you a ton of features and views and um, if you don't have it yet buy it 
stage two kilometers per hour. No, that was too long. I think it's like less half a second, uh, 750 milliseconds for autocycle, and more than that, it's on to change the the version, the imperial to metric. So this is now out of auto cycle. Oh, oh you get easier to auto cycle. I did hold it for long, and then it switches the units that way. Oh, gotta switch the switch off the auto cycle. So this is it. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, leave them in the description if you made it this far and you can support me by checking out my tindy store this is where you can get this uh, you can or just like the video subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see future um, videos and I also did upload a video about our foster dog yesterday First I had it set to so the kids can the kids can watch it but then the comments are disabled. So I switched it back again this morning to adults only. So because I want to hear your feedback because I'm also asking if anybody knows what kind of breed it is because it's I think it's a mixed breed. Uh, my wife found it and gave it to her father. Now her father is sick and we took the dog to care for him and uh, oh also <laughs> it has a light sensor on the top okay, you, get you can see it does dim the screen now well, let's get something less flashy so it does dim the screen and the new pixels So it has that feature as well and I think it's the smallest most featured canvas gauge in the world and I made it and I have several different versions of it so anyway thanks for watching and take care everybody